What's up guys, today we're going to remove the LCD of the Hero 6. So this is the entire casing, so we have a PCB, the battery tray, and other components. And then when you remove all those, you end up uh, with this. Now we're going to remove uh, the speaker. We're going to remove all the other components that are here to get them out of the way. The light pipe. And then what well, you have to know, it's a destructive technique, right? Because the LCD is glued. So the one uh, of the way is to cut away the plastic and it's going to be destruct destructive. Now, the most important part is those ribbon cable. They're extremely fragile. If you touch them wrong, well, they'll break. So you have to be very careful. Now, we're going to cut along the way. So there's a metal pin, right? Right here. So just need to be careful not to try to cut that pin. Maybe I can remove it. There you go. So there's a, this little piece of um, plastic that was... There you go. It's right there. So there's a piece of plastic there. You remove that piece of plastic, the pins is out. So now we can chop away. Okay, be careful so not to, when you try to pry something open, there's still an LCD behind it, right? You don't wanna put too much pressure and pry the plastic off but bending the LCD so be very careful there you go there's no way of removing that door without destruction so so this went really well now there's an aluminum plate this is all aluminum and it's uh, over mold with the case so mm, let's see how that goes if I want to remove my goal is to remove that aluminum well do I really want to I mean I might just trim all this to, so there's no rough edge but using this as is and maybe um, making this more flat so yeah it doesn't yeah I should do that and just that's what I wanted right I wanted something very more compact and more easy to, to plug so I don't really need if let's say I want to continue my journey I would just slowly trim away it's only been eight minutes, right? So it's not like extremely long pro procedure. 
So yeah, I've learned this technique from a fellow um, Naked GoPro pilot from Japan. I'll uh, write his name on the screen. But uh, he posted some pictures to show how he how he did that and this is exactly what he did. Because initially we all thought it was like impossible. Because we all thought, in, well I thought that you would pry from this side to open it. But it's super well glued. And there's a few few people I think that actually took it off from this side not a lot but this this way right now is it's destructive but it's the safest way without breaking the screen I'm gonna stop there but no, nothing stops you from applying heat slowly taking this and this aluminum plate will will come off but yeah that's awesome I'm happy thanks for watching bye bye So as you can see, <clears throat> I took my soldering iron and I melted slots and then I just simply cut them out, remove them. It's very easy. Wow. Oh yeah.